Hey, good afternoon, Joe Glavin with City Floor Supply here with Brennan from Fasten Master. Uh, Brennan's the expert in Fasten Master products, so we're going to discuss their uh, glue and their screw applications. So take it away. All right, guys. The first product we're looking at today is a hot melt construction adhesive glue gun. So this is a high powered glue gun meant for all day use. It's also meant for residential and commercial usage. Now we have two types of glue. The first one I'm gonna talk about is our, is our orange stick right here. It comes in an orange box. This is called the Flex 180 product. Now this product is meant for anything that's hardwood flooring related. From starting rows, ending rows, transition pieces, quarter rounds, bull nosing, and even stuff like, I'm sorry, uh, molding on the wall. Uh, this glue is going to give you essentially three minutes of open time to play with it and make sure that you can get it in just the right spot. And then after three minutes, it will set up. And then after 10 minutes, this glue is fully dried and this can go through sand and finish. So once I put this glue down, it does have a lot of green strength. It likes to bond and adhere very quickly to whatever surface you put it on. The nice thing about it is, as you can see, I do have a lot of movement. I have three minutes to move this glue around. But the nice thing about it is that instant strength, it will stay stuck, but still give me time to play with it and move it around. Now, the other formula we do have, this one right here, this is our white formula. This is called the Flex 40 product. Now this is a much faster setting glue. Uh, the Flex 40 is really dominantly for carpeting tack strips right to the concrete, as well as vinyl cove base. Now, if you're using this stuff, a vinyl coat base, your big problem is your corners like to pop out and not stay stuck against the wall. So with this, you just give it a nice bead of glue on it. Don't have to drown in glue, just a little bit. And with the white formula, it's very pressure sensitive and very pressure activated. So as I push on it, I can actually start to feel it setting up right away. Now, if you're using the Flex 40 product, you have approximately 20 to 30 seconds to get it to stick down to the proper substance before it will set up. And this is still roughly a five to 10 minute before it has a full cure before, it, before it's totally done drying. Now, also, you were gonna introduce me for this one. Yeah, these are our flush mount vents. And uh, anybody that's installing with floors knows flush mount vents give a real nice clean look. Um, Typically, someone's either uh, hard gluing that in with a wood glue, like an Elmer's type glue or um, PVA glue. But if you flip that out, mechanical fasteners are sometimes used in here. And the problem with that is they crack, particularly on a species like this. This is hickory. So something that thin with a 18 gauge uh, angled nailer, it's gonna snap that off. So this is a perfect ap application to glue this frame in, set it into place lay the floor around it or route this in and drop it into place. The vent goes on top. This will be fastened. You can sand the floor, no issues, no nail showing, no nail holes to putty on the top. It's just a great application with the Fasten Master Glue Gun. Thank you very much. When you guys do anything else, let's say a transition piece or a starting or ending row, this glue is deliberately meant and designed so you can eliminate the need for face nails to save yourself a lot of time and effort doing all your dowel putting and staining. How about the um, expansion and contraction with wood? So this glue is actually called the Flex product because it does expand and contract with the expansion and contraction of the wood. Uh, the yellow formula and the white formula will expand three or four millimeters with the changes in temperature to compensate. That way you never wind up getting uh, split wood pieces or glue that's popping off because it became overly hard. If you look at the actual sticks, they flex. They literally flex and bend. That way when you actually have to put them on the floor, you don't have to worry about them being overly hard or overly stiff. You'll actually get a flexible product. And most of the glues in our industry, we need that. We need that elastomeric capability of an adhesive so that our plain sawn wood can grow across the face of the board and the floor itself can grow. So any replacement boards, we still have the ability for the floor to grow and then come back when it shrinks up, when the humidity drops. So it's all a nice feature. Now the next product we actually have here is an automatic feeding screw gun. This is called the PAMFAST system from FastenMaster. Now right now, for example, today, we have subfloor screws in the gun, and it's one and three quarters inch. This particular system will handle screws from one inch all the way up to three inches, and does a wide variety of applications. 
For example, today we have standard regular one and three quarter inch subfloor screws. And the beauty behind the system is as fast as you can pick it up and put it down is as fast as it'll actually drive the screw. So no more getting on your hands and knees. So what we do want to do is get it running first and then go. So ready? So what he's driving into here, I mean, this is a strut that our wood floor pallets come in on, and this is uh, solid oak. So you're looking at uh, two and a half to three inches thick of oak that he just drove that screw through with relatively um, little struggle. So that's pretty impressive, and it didn't crack it out. You can also get a wide variety of screws. As I said before, you can get decking screws, composite decking screws, hardy backer screws, high density subfloor screws, drywall, cement board, and there's a couple others. So there's a wide variety of applications for this product. What you also don't see right now is this can also become a short tool. In the middle, you can see that there is essentially a steel bar, a lengthening piece. I can take the steel bar off, take this headpiece over here, and put it down to the front so I have a short range uh, tool for drywall, which is the most popular application in that case. So you have the option of having either a long tool or a short tool at your disposal at all times. So subfloor applications for our industry, hardwood floor industry, you're looking at um, anywhere where there's been moisture damage, we're going to cut out plywood subflooring, we'll put in new pieces of subfloor, or even um, new construction where you may be adding in anywhere from 100 to 200 square feet of plywood. Uh, whether that's 3 eighths, whether you're building up uh, you know, poor subfloor base, this is the perfect application for that. Real quick guys, let me interrupt. We have a question here. Brian Burns is asking, what is the life of the Flex Glue? Now the Flex Glue product has been out on the market for over 10 years. And as of right now, we're, you know, the glue is still holding strong. So until you know, the glue starts failing at this point, as of right now, it still looks like it's going 10 years strong and still holds. In fact, some of our workers that, who work at Fastmaster have had the Flex used in their house seven, eight years ago, and so far it's still holding. So until we you know, find out if it's actually gonna fail, it, it, at least it's lasting a minimum of 10 years so far, so. Great. Um, here's another question. What if you don't um, put a screw in all the way? Does this thing still function? So or? glad you asked. So I'm going to fail at putting a screw in all the way right now. So I'm going to do one halfway. Now, in this case, I missed the screw. Not a big deal. All I got to do, pull out the strip. Don't get the machine running this time. Get it on there get it locked into the screw, and now just drive the rest of it in. So even if you accidentally only drill one halfway, you can just take the strip out, put the drill in, and drive it the rest of the way with no problem. How about installing the uh, partial strip? So if you have a partial strip, it's the same deal. All you gotta do is just run it right in the machine, right to the gearbox, bring it to where the next screw will fall in line, and you can just start driving again. There we go, that should be it, cool. Okay, perfect, anything else we wanted to touch on? Available at City Floor Supply.